An iconic New Orleans beer will soon be getting to new, less controversial name. And Dixie Brewing owner Gail Benson, who also owns the New Orleans Saints and Pelicans, announced that the process to rebrand that beer is now underway. Paul Murphy has reaction. People in pubs in New Orleans have been serving Dixie beer since 1907. The iconic brand got a new lease on life and a new brewery in New Orleans East after Saints and Pelicans owners Tom and Gail Benson bought the failing company in 2017. Now Mrs. Benson plans to give the beer a new name. In a statement she said, with inclusive input from all of our community stakeholders, we are preparing to change the name of our brewery and products that carry the Dixie brand and these conversations will determine what brand will best represent our culture and community. This is Grace personified. She recognizes that for a lot of people in the community, and myself included, that the brand uh, was, was offensive. Actor and businessman Wendell Pierce broke the news about the name change on his radio station WBOK. I think it's one of the most significant cultural changes um, that I can remember for New Orleans. Uh, it may seem incidental for people, but um, I think it's major because for so many people in the community, uh, it, it's, it, it's a reminder of a virulent, violent past. Some people took to Twitter to criticize the name change. Here's a sample. Embracing the extreme knee-jerk reactions never ends well. I highly doubt when someone sees Dixie beer, they see slavery far reach. So I guess Dixieland jazz is next. Well, the pushback is going to be, you know, why do we have to change our heritage? Well, we don't want to celebrate the worst part of our heritage. We want to celebrate the best part of our heritage. According to Mrs. Benson's statement, a replacement name for Dixie Beer is still in the works. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. And here is the origin of the name Dixie. In the years before the Civil War, Citizens Bank of New Orleans issued $10 notes with Dix, the French word for 10, written on one side. Now, the widely circulated bills became known as Dixies, but many people have also used the term Dixie to describe a term or time rather of slavery in the Old South.